real births, unknown baby mother, you dig? Breaks her silence for the first time, and y'all wouldn't believe what she had to say about the situation, you dig? She definitely goes in on India, goes in on the whole situation, bring up court cases, bring up old times, says Lil Dirk just FaceTime. But at the end of the interview, she does kind of mention the um, GoFundMe. She's looking for um, she's looking for a bag, you dig? Um, basically saying child support, um, you dig? Shh. My heart goes out to Dirkio, you dig? Excuse, excuse me, you dig? My heart definitely goes out to Dirkio, losing her brother. Um, this She did say that the thing was the glue. Um, Durkio's mother did take the test, DNA test. Um, kind of a tricky situation. Definitely my heart goes out to Durkio dealing with a lot right now. Brother lost, lost a king, fine, you dick. I'm finna get in slow with you. I'm chasing. This is a situation that been ongoing that I done spoke on minorly, but not really went the whole nine yards because every time I do bring it to people's attention, they, you know, hit me up like, oh, this is going to change. That is going to change. This is going to be this way. That's going to be this way. I was not cloud chasing. I could have brought this to the media's attention a long time ago. I brought it here now because I'm a fed up mother. I done dealt with a lot over time just listening to them lie and give false hope to me and my son. You know, it was never about money or cloud or any of that. But now it's at a whole nother level. Okay. So now we address that part. Let's get into the actual Dirk situation, we're going to call it. <laughs> okay, so uh, how did you meet Dirk? That is a story that I am tired of telling, but it's me and him knew of each other through his cousin, MacArthur, who was new, new, new ski. Is everybody know him, the rapper that passed away, rest his soul as well. I went to elementary school with him because people who know me know I'm originally from Chicago. We went to elementary school together. We was in the same classroom. And that's how I met him. He, um, we just always known of each other. But when I had moved back to Chicago from here, that's when, you know, me and him kind of started to be around each other more. But I was never into him being Lil Dirk. It wasn't a big deal to me. He was just somebody we knew from when we was kids. He wasn't nobody. Okay. Now, going from, so I take it you guys was messing around when, before this Dirk. Before yeah, Dirk. I don't know who this Dirk is. <laughs> okay, so. It's a different person. Okay, so during that, now you, you know you pregnant or whatever. Now, have did you try to reach out or this is this the first time you've reached out or how has that been? Because the way that it's presented to like the outside is this is your first time coming out of nowhere. In seven you know what I mean? Years, like, why? Yeah. yeah. His brother just passed. Like, yeah. What? Br bring people up to speed on the that aspect of it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, for everybody that's been wondering, so that I can clear my conscience as well, honestly and truthfully, Dirk has been knowing about my son since he got me pregnant. He knew I was pregnant before I even knew I was pregnant. When I got pregnant by him, he decided to say he didn't want to deal with me because his other baby mama, Nikki, was had found out about me being pregnant by him. And she started to keep him away from his other kids. And secretly, he would be behind closed doors trying to tell me to bring my son to visit him after he was born and everything. And people who've been following me and knowing me for a while know that I was dealing with Caper Boy, who was Fredo Santana's brother. And even though I was dealing with him, I always knew that Dirk was my son's dad. And Caper even knew that. But for moral support, he just decided to be there for me. And Dirk knew that. So it's just like, this was a situation where as a man, I understand pride and everything. But we also got to be realistic. My son didn't do any of this. You know, regardless of how you feel towards me for what I did. Or how you feel towards me for whatever your ego and everything tell you my son didn't do anything so after all you know he knew my son was his and as my son started to get older d thing was the one who reached out to me saying like man you know he he looked like you know bro or whatever like and they couldn't ignore the fact that you know side by side this is his pretty much his twin so it's like that's why I hate for it to look like I was putting any disrespect towards D thing because right. he was one of the people who originally reached out. Like people saw the messages. He claimed my son is his nephew. 
his pullback came from how Dirk responded to everything. Because when Dirk got with India, he wasn't honest with her about him having my son, about my son being out here. So to keep his home happy, he decided to keep my son a secret. But behind closed doors, his mom was talking to my son. She, she still would be talking to my son to this day had this information I got out to the internet. But they continue to want me to be quiet about everything so they can continue to be happy, not knowing how much this is mentally damaging my son. He see y'all all over the internet. He see the lifestyle that y'all live. And he's forced to sit back and watch that. You know, I never made it about money because he's well taken care of. But if y'all not going to be there consistently instead of just calling saying, oh, when he get out of school, let us know. We're going to come and get him and bring him down for family vacation or whatever the case may be, like the Disney trip. I knew beforehand that a Disney trip was planned. They asked me about it. I never said he couldn't go, but we didn't hear nothing else about it. So my son is seven, about to be seven, July 1st. We're going to see if they give him a call. They got his number. They don't got to call me. Okay. I don't I don't have to talk to them, but he can bring me his phone and say, Mom, um, my daddy at Disney World with the other kids. Why couldn't I go? You know, it's not my fault, and I'm not going to sit here and make continue to take uh, blow after blow from my baby because they continue to make false promises and tell lies to him. I'm not covering up no more because to the media, you take care of all your kids. You pay your friends buying money. You take care of only the family let you tell it. But where is he included in this? And I never made it hard for you. Okay. I, the question I have, well, that everybody have is, so everybody is like, where is the proof of you, you know what I mean? The baby being Dirks because now there's more so to the media. Like, okay, I look at it like this. People from Indianapolis is looking at it one way because they pretty much know you. They pretty much know the situation with Dirk. Mm -hmm. People on the outside looking in the media, you post a clip of somebody saying, hey, this is Dirk's kid. Mm -hmm. Where's the proof? Mm -hmm. So what, what, what is your answer to people asking that question? My answer to the proof is Dirk was never man enough to come forward and take a test with my son. His mom decided to meet me in Chicago a few years ago and get a DNA test through her. So the, the clips that I posted of the test says 97.999, whatever y'all want to call it, because we took a grandparent DNA test. And, and since then, his mom has been extremely active socially, she, but we have not seen, we have not had consistent visits or any of that. Dirk just FaceTimed my son last week and all my son could do was cry because He's idolizing the jewelry, the lifestyle, the cars, the him seeing you rap and everything, but he don't have that relationship with you and he's wondering why. You know what I mean? So if y'all not going to actively be there consistently, why even keep going in and out, in and out, in and out, damaging a child? Okay. That's, that's, that's the part that I, I, don't, I, I really don't get that. And that's what makes me lose respect in the situation and take it to court and make it about just supporting him just support him if you don't want to be there support him and then the people like oh you just want money and this and that when it wasn't about money and i kept my mouth closed and i stayed quiet and i waited and now he's seven years gonna be seven years old july 1st now i'm coming out this is new to everybody now i'm looking like the bad person yeah. but before everybody knew this you know who's helping me with him you know what i'm saying i have help don't get me wrong i'm not discrediting anybody in my life that has helped me with my son including my daughter's dad who's been there for a very long time but that doesn't take away the fact that the truth is the truth my son visits my family in chicago and i can't stop my little cousins and little sisters and little brothers from telling him you know dirk your real daddy you know what i mean that's how my son got exposed to it in the first place I wasn't proud of it. Why would I brag on you being my child's father and you're not there for him? You're not making it known to him that you're, you're, you are his father. You know what I mean? So I never, that was never something I was proud of. It's people who ask me to this day and I'm, you know, I mean, like, unfortunately, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because what are you doing? Who? To me, you're a regular person. Just like, I mean, this Dirk you are now, you're not, that's not who I met. Right. You, you wasn't rolling in dough or whatever. They're like the picture I posted. You had a little tennis chain around your neck. You was you was a regular gentleman that was just cool. You know what I'm saying? We knew the same people. 
like his homie Pluto that passed away. That was my brother. I love to death. God rest his soul. Because I can guarantee you if he was alive, a lot of stuff would have been different. But it's like, we here now. What are you going to do now? You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of defending your reputation that you claim to have when you're not doing what a man should be doing. Okay. And a lot of, a lot of people on the internet is asking... If it's not about money or none of that, like, why did you put the GoFundMe? Because I've had, like, thousands of emails about, like, it's so many people being about money about that. It's so many people. It's not even about money. I'm a regular person. I'm no Ari. I'm not trying to be no Jada or none of that flashy lifestyle. Nobody has ever seen me with Dior, Fendi, Gucci, Prada. That's not how I live. I have regular bills. I have... A regular situation where going after a millionaire rapper cost it costs because those lawyers who say that they'll help you I'm not going downtown to found a regular child support case on a regular individual people who have who have um, filed for child support against their baby daddy know that them people will push that shit out yeah, years and, and years and, on the end yeah I want you to matter of fact enlighten people on that like is a different type of child support system like a different type of child it is you're dealing with it's it is. not just the ag- exactly nine to five exactly and, and that's what i'm saying yeah. it's a lot of people like you don't need that much money you can go to legal aid this that, and the other no you cannot you get you when you go to child support you have to who it is who they gotta go after and then i live here my son was born in chicago he live in atlanta all that paperwork and stuff that stuff costs and i don't have like to 20,000 put away just to chase after him because I never expected this. I wanted him to do what he was supposed to do. And that's why I waited because why wouldn't I take your word for you saying that you're going to step up one day and be there or he's going to go visit your mama or visit your family or y'all going to make time for him and y'all never do. Okay. His mama sent money to my son uh, one time for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just over that. I'm just over that because he's getting older and he understands and I'm not finna keep listening to my son tell me he hate me and want to go with y'all and y'all don't give a damn about him. You know what I'm saying? It's coming to that point where I'm going to be able to tell him and be honest with him. I've been doing everything. You cannot sit here and look at Dirk have money, cars, and clothes, and all this and that, and he's picking that whole world over being a father to you. I honestly don't feel like there's nothing he can teach my son. Honestly. You have gold dreads, black platinum dreads, platinum teeth. What I don't that's not what I want for my son. I don't want my son idolizing material things or talking about ops and gangs and all that shit. It ain't nothing you could teach him. So just support him. Just sponsor his lifestyle so I can get him the best psychiatrist because he got mental, emotional, trauma like issues. So he I can send him to the best schools. So I can give him the best life that he can live outside of how y'all living. Because y'all living a lie. You know what I mean? And then, it's like situations with his new girlfriend, India. I don't know anything about her and I don't have nothing bad to say about her. But at the same time, if you know these accusations, I could not be laying with no man. And a female is getting exposed like this from the shade room and everywhere else. And not address the situation. What type of woman are you with having your own kids? You know what I'm saying? And it don't have nothing to do with her. Don't get me wrong. But I just could not be laying with my dude saying, you know, not trying to figure out, okay, if this ain't it, let's clear it up. Clear, yeah. If Because my thing is, if it ain't if it ain't a dude, baby, they going to come say, that ain't my baby. Facts. They gonna, because it's going to be up in the air in a relationship until it's settled. Exactly. Okay. My point exactly. So it's just a lot of people that I'm losing respect for in a situation because it's not about Travana. It's about my innocent son that's about to be seven years old. And I wish I could. Uh, if I let y'all come on, my son come on here, nothing's coached, nothing's written, nothing's wrote down. He will tell y'all how he feel and he will tell y'all Dirk is his daddy and he loved Dirk and don't even know the man like that because Dirk been absent for so long. But like I said, I've never lied to him about the situation. Okay. So the question I have is, so him and Dirk has had some type of like back and forth before this whole internet post. 
Yes. Because a lot I, of people seem to think like you are really coming out. And of, I'm coming out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like you just popped up because his brother passed. No. When I when I used to live when I first when I first had my son, I moved out of Chicago when he was about three months because I didn't want to raise him there. I moved back here. I used to rent cars to take my son to Chicago to see him. And it never, it never really, it never, I never really wanted to make a big deal about it because what we, what's important is what's being handled. You, you visiting, I'm coming to see him, whatever it it takes. I'm bringing my son to see you. We going to get it taken care of. Okay. And just over the years, like I said, false promises and everything. And then I've attempted court uh, on several different occasions, but financially, that just could I couldn't put my focus on just that. So so okay, let me let me stop you right there. So he was claiming them up until the yes. point that this fame, like like the the next level fame, took off. I don't know where he stopped or why, but he used to post my son. He used to claim my son. He used to tell me to bring my son to see him. I don't know where it stopped because, like I said, it's been seven years. I don't know where it went wrong, but each time it went left. Anytime money, any, I, I'm going to say money. Anytime money got involved where I would ask about money, mm-hmm. that's when he would kind of try to fall back. Because I've threatened the court issue and everything before. But him knowing I don't have the financial means to actually push push it is kind of what have him like, all right, go to court, see what happens. Yeah. You know, and, and he fall back. Like I said, he just FaceTimed my son two weeks ago. And my son saw him and cried. The whole time, and they had no feelings for towards that. So it's one of those situations to where he want to deal with you on his time or his way versus y'all having like a mutual respect or mutual, mutual like, agreement. Yeah, agree. Yeah. Okay. Mhm. I'm. It's better off for me to be quiet, but nothing is being handled if I'm quiet. Not saying I know which way this is gonna go, but I want to be able to tell my son when he get older, mommy tried everything that she could. I did A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know, I didn't stop until I ran out of options. You know what I'm saying? So it's embarrassing to have to make a GoFundMe. It's in, that shit is embarrassing. But at the same, especially for a man who we have a DNA test, a man who we know for 100% fact is the daddy, a man who we know the claims them back and forth, a man who just FaceTimed him, my son two weeks ago. I have his number in my phone. I have his mama number in my phone. Text, threads, all kind of stuff. And it's like, we're here because what? Okay. A waste of time. So so what is your end goal to coming out to the media before you handle this in court? Because, you know, a lot of people are asking that also. They're mm-hmm. like, okay, well, why is she on the internet doing these interviews and podcasts and stuff and not handling the court? What, what, what is your end goal on that? My end goal is to hopefully get the type of, the right type of financial help that I can get from the world or to get a pro bono lawyer or to get a somebody some type of resource for this type of situation because I know it's not the first and I know it won't be the last you know what I'm saying I'm not on here to try to make him look bad I'm on here to try to see if I can get some type of justice justice for my son because I have tried every other way there is I have done a lot before I came to this point. So that's my biggest issue. If I can get the help that I can for him, I will definitely. I mean, this could have been shut down a long time ago. You know, I never wanted to take this route or this this route would have been taken a long time ago. So I'm hoping that it's a, you know, the celebrity baby mamas or however they, whoever can tune in and help me. To get this figured out for my child, that's all I want. I'm not going to sit on here and get emotional because it saddens me, but I'm at the point of rage. And I want to just make sure I handle it correctly because I know how wrong things can go just based off emotions. That's why I said I'm not trying to make Dirk Banks look bad. But as a man that's out here making it seem to the world that he's such a real individual to not stand on your child. And I mean all of them. I don't care if they were made by mistakes. I don't care if you hate the baby mamas. It's about your kids. 
my son should not be hurt because you don't like me or the decisions that I made when I was pregnant or after the fact or whatever the case may be. He didn't do anything. And that's the only part I'm trying to get understood. He want to be the voice of the streets. I'm my son's voice. I'm all he got. You know, he got other people around him, but he idolizes somebody that he don't even really know. And that's not fair to him. If you feel like you don't want to be in his life, make that clear. Why did you just FaceTime two weeks ago and keep pulling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? You were in the middle of a situation at the time that you FaceTimed him, but you saw that he cried. You kept asking him what what was wrong, why he crying. He don't know you. He don't see you. He's happy right now. But, I mean, he don't understand why he's happy. I get it. But 